Welcome back to Finance Homefront. Thank you for tuning in today. We're diving into a hot topic that's stirring up the cryptocurrency world, Donald Trump's proposal for a national Bitcoin stockpile. Before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest financial trends and market news. And as always, please keep in mind that I'm not offering financial advice. I'm here to provide insights and foster discussion. Let's get into the details of this fascinating development and explore what it could mean for the future of Bitcoin and the broader crypto market. In a rousing speech at a cryptocurrency convention held in Nashville, Tennessee in late July, former President Donald Trump addressed an enthusiastic audience with a bold declaration, never sell your Bitcoin. This pronouncement was part of a broader effort by the Republican presidential candidate to garner support from the crypto community as the November election looms closer. Among the various campaign promises he made, one of the most striking was his plan to establish a state Bitcoin reserve. Trump articulated his vision clearly. If elected, it will be the policy of my administration to retain 100% of all the Bitcoin the United States government currently holds or acquires in the future. He further explained that these funds would form the core of the strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. Interestingly, Trump is not alone in proposing such an initiative. United States Senator Cynthia Lummis has introduced legislation aimed at having the U.S. government purchase 1 million Bitcoin, which equates to approximately 5% of the total supply. Meanwhile, Independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has suggested the creation of a government stockpile consisting of 4 million Bitcoin. The concept of a strategic reserve brings forth various questions and implications for the broader cryptocurrency market. While the feasibility and desirability of such a move remain subjects of debate, the potential uses of the substantial Bitcoin holdings of the U.S. government are under scrutiny. The U.S. currently possesses an impressive cache of cryptocurrencies valued at around $11.1 billion, which includes 203,239 Bitcoin tokens. This considerable stockpile, according to data from Arkham Intelligence, was accumulated through criminal seizures, notably from the shutdown of the Silk Road online marketplace in 2013. At present, the United States holds approximately 1% of the global Bitcoin supply, which stands at about 19.7 million tokens as per blockchain.com. It is worth noting that Bitcoin's total supply is capped at 21 million coins. When compared to major non-state investors, the U.S. government's holdings are significant but not unrivaled. For instance, Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy owns about 226,500 Bitcoin tokens, according to second quarter results. BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust and Grayscale Bitcoin Trust hold 344,070 and 240,140 tokens, respectively, based on data from Bitcoin treasuries. A government-held Bitcoin stockpile could have a substantial impact on Bitcoin's market value. Mark Connors, the head of Global Macro at OnRamp Bitcoin, opined, it would have a positive impact on price. It would have to because we've never had such a limited supply commodity, albeit digital, assume a new state of a reserve asset. However, this scenario also implies fewer tokens available for cryptocurrency investors to trade, potentially leaving them vulnerable if the government decides to liquidate part of its reserves. Connors further commented on the potential concerns among Bitcoin enthusiasts, saying, RFK talked about having 19% of Bitcoin, the same amount as the gold supply. I can't imagine a single Bitcoiner would be happy about that. The U.S. is not the only government with substantial Bitcoin reserves. According to Bitcoin Treasuries, China ranks as the second largest government holder of Bitcoin, with 190,000 coins. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the establishment of a national Bitcoin reserve, the concept is prompting extensive speculation among crypto observers. Connors suggested that the Federal Reserve could manage these reserves for the Treasury Department akin to its role with gold, 
Alternatively, the stockpile could resemble the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, with both the President and Congress having varying degrees of control, as noted by Frank Kelly, a senior political strategist at asset manager DWS Group. There's a lot to parse and figure out there, Kelly remarked. The notion of a government-controlled Bitcoin reserve introduces a paradox that many staunch Bitcoin advocates find troubling. A digital asset designed to be decentralized and beyond government control, potentially becoming a part of state reserves. Regardless of the outcome concerning a Bitcoin stockpile, the increased attention to cryptocurrencies in political discourse is seen positively by many in the market. Raul Miwawala, CEO of Mawson Infrastructure Group, which operates data centers for Bitcoin mining, noted, there's a general view in the industry that both parties are paying much more attention to digital assets. He added, the expectation is that will continue post-November. This ongoing debate highlights the evolving relationship between cryptocurrencies and traditional political structures. As the digital asset landscape continues to grow and integrate with mainstream financial systems, the policies and attitudes of political leaders towards cryptocurrencies will play a crucial role in shaping their future. The proposal for a state Bitcoin reserve, whether realized or not, signifies the increasing importance of digital currencies in national and global economic strategies. Trump's ambitious plan for a Bitcoin stockpile is emblematic of the broader movement towards recognizing and integrating digital currencies within government policies. The discussion surrounding such a reserve touches on various aspects, including market stability, investor security, and the ideological foundations of cryptocurrencies. As political figures continue to engage with the crypto community and consider the implications of digital assets, the landscape of both politics and finance is likely to experience significant transformations. In summary, Trump's proposal to create a national Bitcoin reserve has ignited a spirited debate within the cryptocurrency community and beyond. With other prominent political figures offering their own visions for government-held Bitcoin reserves, the conversation is set to continue as the election approaches. The outcome of this debate will have far-reaching implications for the future of cryptocurrencies and their role in the global financial system. As more political leaders engage with the digital asset space, the integration of cryptocurrencies into traditional economic frameworks appears increasingly inevitable. That wraps up our deep dive into Donald Trump's proposal for a national Bitcoin stockpile and the broader implications it could have on the cryptocurrency market. It's clear that as political figures increasingly engage with the world of digital assets, we're witnessing significant shifts in how these currencies are perceived and potentially utilized on a national scale. What are your thoughts on this topic? Do you think a government-held Bitcoin reserve could benefit the market? Or are there risks we need to be wary of? Share your opinions in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Finance Homefront for more updates and discussions on financial trends and market news. Make sure to click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and remember, this is not financial advice, but a platform for informed discussion and analysis. See you in the next video.